Good morning, LGN. It is dot day. Woo. It's Thursday, September 15th, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and face the flag. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. LGN friends, today is Dot Day. It has finally arrived, and I'm super excited. Dot Day is one of my favorite days of the year, and uh, we are celebrating here at LGN. I don't know if you can see. Mr. Higgins has his dots on. I'll get closer. Look at those. I wonder how many dots there are on my shirt. Look at that. It is a, a large shirt because Mr. Higgins is a tall man, and there's dots all over this. I wonder if we can count those dots. It might take us a long time. Uh, I also made sure to wear special shoes today. These are my favorite shoes. <laughs> My Crocs have dots. Look at that. And those are size 16 Crocs. So there's a lot of dots on there. Look at all those dots. I wonder if there are more dots on my Crocs than on your Crocs because they're so big. We'll have to figure that out. We'll, we'll count those. Uh, so Dot Day today. I told you yesterday that I would tell you a little bit more about what Dot Day is and what it's about. Um, so I'm going to read this to you. Bear with me. It says, International Dot Day, a global celebration of creativity, courage, and collaboration, began when teacher Terry Shea introduced his classroom to Peter H. Reynolds' book, The Dot, on September 15th, 2009. The Dot is the story of a caring teacher who dares a doubting student to trust in her own abilities by being brave enough to make her mark. Vashti, there she is. What begins with a small dot on a piece of paper shirt, becomes a breakthrough in confidence and courage, igniting a journey of self-discovery and sharing, which has gone on to inspire countless children and adults around the globe. Each year on International Dot Day, with the help of people just like you, the inspiration continues. What started as a story in the pages of a book is transforming teaching and learning around the world as people of all ages, ages rediscover the power and potential of creativity in all they do. So we're gonna to celebrate today. It's an awesome day to celebrate. And I just realized we do have a birthday today. How cool is this that Dominic Duran, Doran, sorry, Dominic. Dominic Doran has a birthday today on Dot Day. Happy birthday, Dom. That's pretty special. I wonder if I have an extra copy of the Dot around that we can give you. Because that's, that's kind of cool to have your birthday on Dot Day, I think, anyway. Also, how exciting is this? Today is also the start of Hispanic Heritage Month. And Hispanic Heritage Month runs from September 15th to October 15th. And uh, we celebrate the histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. A little history on that. It was first observed in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Johnson and was expanded by President Reagan in 1988 to, over a, to cover a 30-day period starting September 15th. Uh, let's see. It was enacted into law on August 17, 1988, on the approval of Public Law 100-402. The day of September 15th is significant because it is the anniversary of independence for Latin American countries Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. In addition, Mexico and Chile celebrate their Independence Days on September 16th and September 18th, respectively. Also, Columbus Day, or Dia de la Raza, which is October 12th, falls within this 30-day period. And it's also known as Indigenous Peoples Day here in Massachusetts. So we've got some cool stuff going on today. These announcements are a little bit long. Bear with me. It's an exciting day. I do have... A bunch of jokes. Look at these jokes coming in. I know Mrs. Hanowitz is excited because once the, the students take over the jokes, they're way funnier than anything I have in my database. So here we go. This one comes from Julie Blair from Mrs. Uh, Mrs. O'Hare's class. What did the lollipop say when something is hard? What does a lollipop say when something is hard? This is in Popsicle. That's a good one. Thanks, Julie. Where does a cow sit to watch TV? This one's from Brady Do uh, Brody Donovan. Where does the couch sit to watch TV? On the couch. <laughs> I think that was on a milk carton. What did the banana say to the dog? Asks Audrey Morse. What did the banana say to the dog? You got me. Nothing, bananas can't talk. 
And this one is, who is this one from? I'm not sure. There's no name on this. Um, let's see. What happens if a cow does not shave? It grows a moustache. Moo-stash. All right, LGN, that's all I've got for today. I'll be around reading in a few classrooms today. I read in some yesterday, and we're going to keep that going. I'm excited to see you. I'm excited you're here. It's Thursday. It's dot day. It's going to be awesome. See ya.